right, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and welcome to the stream. Yes, the title's right. Herbal Space Program. I'm gonna try, if I remember how to play. I might not. I might have completely forgot what's a Kerbal. Let me check audio, best game ever. I agree with you, Torch. So, let's check audio here real quick. Sounds good. All right, let's get over to game. So we need to um, see what the state is. I'll be honest, I was a bit worried I'd be timed out for that one. Uh, I, I, I don't know, but you took a chance. Um, okay, let's launch Seacan and uh, see how things are. So we're gonna use still the um, the old Kerbals in Space Redux, I think. Uh, okay, so quite a few mods have been updated. Okay, I'm concerned with this one. All right, so let's do this. Um, shut this down. Let's um, find short. Um, I don't have the, this, this must be the folder. So this is Redux. I just don't have a, oh, there it is. Found it. All right, I found the shortcut for it. All right, that over here. There go. And there. All right. So what I want to do is I want to make a copy. Let's get rid of this copy. We're gonna make a copy. Paste that, and then we're gonna modify this one. Um, one of the mods, uh, according to Ccan, is is manually added. So I want to check and see if that mod has actually been updated. See if it's on Ccan. I don't mind doing a ma manual update. I just want to get my bearings. All right, so let's um do that. Launch Ccan again. We get chat up, sorry. So field training facility. Okay, now that's pointing to that one. So if I shut this down and go in here, here, field training facility. All right, so let's pull this out. And then relaunch. I wonder if I could have just refreshed. Hmm. Uh. Oh, geez. Hang on a sec. Things are happening. Okay. Um. All right. So it's not in there anymore. Yay. So um, let's go ahead and just update all of these. Yep. Yep, it's good. The mod developer of the field training facility is not a big fan of CCAN. So we're gonna type in uh, change a filter to compatible training facility. Now, supposedly he was combining both of these into one mod the last time I read. So if I go out to the forum support for it. So last post, um, Field training facility back in March. That's before I left. Um, I want to go to leases. Now he says 
on here, which is January 10th. He also says, he also uses, um, what's it called, uh, Forge? Let's go compare version numbers. Oh, oh, there it is. First Forge. Field training facility. This is the same version, it looks like. 1.2.2.0. 1.2.2.0. If we go here, it's a version behind. So we can't use this one. So just download the one from here. It says install. I don't want it to install it. I just want to download it. And actually, it might even be the same version I have. Let's see. Version number. No. Okay, so I had the most current version of this mod. So I didn't have to download it. So let's go put it back. All right. And CCAN's running. So if I do a refresh to installed, refresh. There it is. All right. Now it wants to update it because it doesn't know what version I have installed, but that would be an older version. All right. So the next mod that we want to install. So if, if I go to uh, KSP, AIS. I remembered. All right. So this is our mod list for the Kerbals in space. And um, so it says on there that the field training facility was manually installed. Oh, scrap is one that we want to take a look at. Filters, compatible. Oh, scrap. 2.2.0. Okay, so let's go see. Stand on this mod. And so this says 112.4. This says 112.9. All right, let's go to is looking for it. There it is. 2.2.99. And 2.2. .2. So this one again is more current. Um, does it have any release notes out here? The reason why is when I had it installed, it worked until I got a lot of parts and then it started having issues. So change log. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so it was recompiled. I don't see a date on here. Let's go dig a little deeper. Two dot two dot ninety nine. Bear with me for a sec. All right. Um, let's go actually look at the GitHub. Because <clears throat> I opened up an issue. I got a thing that it was closed no, I want to see what the resolution was is there a way that I can look up any issues that I've projects your guests your sponsors well got it now I don't think it does 
I go back here and change issue to closed, does that work? Oh, it does. Nice. And looking for me, I'm, I guess I don't know how to use this. So if they haven't fixed the problems I had, I don't want to install it. So I'm just trying to figure that out before we dive into this. Oh. All right, so. That's issue open. Can I do Everything assigned to you, everything mentioning you. No? It changes to closed. Oops. Nice one. Does that work? Aw. All right. Well, I guess I, um. Oh, maybe it wasn't no scrap. Maybe it was scrap yard. Oh, it's possible. It's, um. Let's find. I do apologize for this. Looking for... Nope. Nope. And scrap card. Here we go. Two issues. And now that I know there's filters, I can say... Huh. Oh, it says one closed. All right. Hey, look at there, lag in the editor. Um, so can I click on this and get work is complex? I, I believe type is a fix. Um, thank you. I've reviewed the open issue logs. Uh, uh, added to do list for 22.9. So-and-so added needs triage to this guy. Moved from needs triage to high priority. Progress. Added this to pre-release milestone. Let's place the decimal place on a couple of places. Doing it. My stuff? Thanks. I found it. Um... Right. Okay. Um, okay. Close this as completed. Added this to move to in progress. Okay, so he put it on 2.2.99.1. So is that, and I'm looking at, oh, scrap. So this would be actually scrap yard. Hey, look at there. All right, let's give it a try. So um, obviously, if I use OScrap from here, this is an older version. Can't use it on CCAN. Two dot two dot ninety nine zero versus yeah. So we have to um, download, not install, download. It's OScrap and Scrap Yard. Now I need to, if I go here, there should be a list of dependencies. All right, Scrapyard we have, Module Manager and Kerbal Space Program, all right? I don't want to use, Stage Recovery I would like to use. Let's get these installed, make sure there's no issues. 
Gerbil construction time, not going to do it this time. So, all right, let's get these bad boys installed. First of all, let me launch this and make sure it works before I install those. So we, we, we re-added field training facility, right? Oh, oh, I refreshed the wrong screen. All right, all right, let's launch it. So this is not fun. Is that even launching? Yeah, there it goes. <sighs> Big white screen. It's very bright. I had a um I had an avocado bagel everything slice of toast. And I think I got poppy seeds stuck in one of my teeth. Take care of it later. But it is yummy. I was concerned. Whoa, this is new. Oh, that's right. So the um, module manager has a buffering that if it doesn't detect any changes, it caches stuff so it loads faster. Hey, good morning, FX editor. How are you? Yeah, that stuff happens, yeah. I actually didn't know the bagel everything was a shakable spice, I guess, um, until I was watching one of my recommended YouTube videos was I built my van for gaming. I went, what? And it's a guy who lives off grid in his van, you know, van life. Uh, he's got a job. He does a lot of video editing. And um, his van was built a few years ago before lithium became affordable but he recently upgraded so anyways watching his he was having a quick morning breakfast and he did that come on you can call me by my first name i don't think that's appropriate if you want me to i will all right so do we want to start a new one um hi pookie pookie's here um Hang on. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. I get called by many names. Usually which is not my real name. <laughs> uh, hang on, give me a sec here. So if I load up my old save. Okay, let's just do that. Let's load up the old save and see if it loads up. I guess that's barely. There it is. Let's see how that loads up. Uh, hey, there was no errors, but let's just, um, oops, is it alt? Oh, geez. Crash, but hang on. Let's try this again. Oh. <sighs> Which sold Alt F4 is not a shortcut in games. I, I went, my 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 big my thumbs are really heavy, and yes, it hovers on the space bar, and I had Alt down when I when I, I did. Well, we never got a call from the plumbers yesterday. Hope this is not a pattern. It could have been just a bad Monday. Too hot and humid. Wait, so hot and humid and that is... So you've got heat, rain and humidity?
Sounds like you're in Key West. Let's try this one more time. Oh my God. All right. No, I don't want that. Go away. Almost forgot how to get into the console. All right. Uh, show all log errors on screen. No, I don't want to see that on screen. So as long as we don't see any red, that's not red. Cannot find the module or type name Scrapyard. We don't have Scrapyard installed. So that that's a bad thing when you have a Kerbal build and you take a mod out, there's always some residual stuff left over somewhere. <sighs> so, so far, we're doing good. We got a lot of stuff going on here. All right, so Kerbal runs, runs fine. So we are going to, um, we're gonna install the two mods and do a new game. That way we get around any sort of issues. Sound good? I think it sounds great. Why does my shirt look very dark on my monitor? Interesting. Yeah, the save file has a bunch of mod data. So if you take out change mods starting, yeah, that, I've, and I don't think there's a way around that unless you know what you're doing in the save file, right? So, all right. So, um, we have, so once again, let's review the dependencies of O scrap. So the reason why I want to do O scrap is I want to, uh, I want a challenge for part failure. And uh, this has always been one of my favorites. There's um, there's Dang It, which actually I think Linux has. And there was one other one, which eludes me. Hey, Fluffy, how you doing? All right, so once again, we want dependencies. We're gonna install Scrapyard. We have module, ma what's the difference between these two? Module manager. Module manager light. That's just module manager. I don't understand. I don't understand why. Oh, one is to, I guess the uh, GitHub, and one's to the form i got it okay sweet no problem uh one mod that i never got past alpha was wanted herbal crash system um oh that's different from crash yeah hey old grumpy how you doing all right so we've got all the dependencies for this to happen so let's do this so we have field training facility right yep all right so we don't need that around anymore so, oh, scrap. So we have to do these manually because the mod author um, has been updating CCAN. So that's what we want. So we're gonna copy, paste, goes. Takes care of oh, scrap. Then we'll do scrap yard. I was just making sure there wasn't another nested folder that said scrapyard. All right, so now, now we'll do a new, we'll do a new test. All right, so if we go to the mod list, um, I should probably do a comparison. Um, I'm gonna leave that up for a sec. 
Don't need that. Dude. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, so we're gonna go through and double check all these, but I'm pretty sure I haven't deviated. Oh, I forgot to install stage recovery. Darn it. We're gonna bail out of this again. I wanna get all the mods installed with the new save. I was talking to Alex today about um, when I went to, when I worked at Intel, I had to write a proposal to my boss about the pros and cons of me going to a training, become Microsoft certified. And that was the old MSCE. So I think they retired it in 2016 or 17 or something like that. Um, and at the time it was um, a very nice item to have on your resume. Hey, Saturn, cool KSP. Yeah, we're gonna give it a, a good try here. Good college try, you know? So I was telling Alex about that because I go, it was something, you know, I had to, it cost money. And um, you know, I was talking about when contractors become board certified that every year they have to get, or every four years they have to get relicensed and stuff like that. Um, all right, so sorry, we're gonna quit out, my bad. And if I do uh, compatible for um, re stage recovery, install that. Hey, cool. He hasn't updated it since. I already got scrapyard. It would be nice if. Wait a minute. Is isn't that the most current version? Why does that? I'm confused. Oh, 2.2.99. That is not the most current version. All right, anyways. I got a few certifications over the years. Some of the, some of those tests are really hard. Yes, I agree. Yeah, I mean, especially if you really don't have any, and I didn't, I had very little understanding of <laughs> Microsoft networking, which again, isn't the best, but at the time it was, you know, the enterprise-ish, I mean, it's either that or what was it, Cisco or I um, can't remember what the other one was. Um, but, you know, Intel went with Microsoft. So, hey, what can I say? So that got installed. So if we go back and say filtered by installed and do a refresh, we should see. Oh, so it puts all the manually ones at the bottom instead of lifting them, listing them alphabetically. Okay, that's fine. So they're installed, yay. Anyways, I had to write up a proposal on why and to prove that it was going to be an asset, not only to my group, but to Intel. And I went and it was, it was at the time it was pretty expensive, close to like $2,200. And, um, the training was, was awesome. The, 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 there was two, you had a class and then a lab. You didn't go anywhere. You were just books and slides and. Then you got on the computer and did stuff. And um, it was actually very educational. It was very, you know, had no idea sort of that, that all that was going up behind the scenes. And I did pass. I had a rough area with the, um, what was the terminology? Policies, the, the um, policies. Yeah, there's something else. Policy security, policy nesting, something like that, because you could have, say like you had group one, two, three, actually group two, three, four, and you could have group one. Group one could have the rights to everything. And then group three might have some of what this, so you could, you could have people see certain things and some people not see certain things. Group policies. Yeah, group policies, that's it, thank you. Man, that was confusing, okay? That I had a lot of problems with. Um, I, I did pass, you know, I didn't pass with flying colors. There was no cake and party hats at the end. So we're going to do a new, <laughs> here's the kicker though. So you, you walk out of there, you got this nice certificate. It was actually a nice certificate too on a, on a plaque and all that kind of stuff. I went back and I told my boss I passed. She said, oh, good. And then I finally got in within a couple of weeks, I got a hold of the, hold of the internal group that was responsible for our server supporting it. 
I said, we're gonna take this over. And the reason why we were doing that is because, and this is kind of weird, is even though you have a group supports another group, they actually charge you for support. So it's like money comes in out of um, one pocket and goes into another. So it's funny money, it's internal funny money. An in-tune training, I've never heard of that. Sounds almost like an audio thing. Um, so anyways, we're just trying to save money and by us managing our own servers, then uh, it would save some money. It's gonna be a beast. Scary. All right, so we're gonna start new. So here's the kicker. I, I go, I, I hook up with the people uh, real cool because they actually don't wanna support all the servers that are so different. You, they would just rather have a bunch of the same servers to support is the impression I got. And uh, when I told them that I became certified, they go, oh, you just got certified. I go, yeah, it's because, well, we do things differently. I went, what? So they didn't do it the Microsoft way. They did it the Intel way. So I had to learn how they did it. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we're going to do a test science. I'm going to call this mod test testing. Give this a flag. Um, field training. Why not? Um, and let's go. Whoa. All right. This is what the, uh, this is what that list is for. Not, oh, that list. Yeah, that's the one. So by, by the way, what I'm looking at, um, I was always a little salty at how MS hides a ton of settings in group policy and registry that have no visual or control panel settings like disabling Cortana. Oh, that was a little bit before when I had it, but yeah, I could, I could, there was a couple of things that, yeah, you had to um, make a registry file for. Uh, what am I looking for? That. That's what I'm looking at right now. That's a list of the mods. There are three in it, two of them scratched out, but we just reinstalled it and we're gonna see if they work. And what I have to do is go through the next tab at the bottom for the settings, because I don't wanna have to go through and figure out what I want and don't want. So I'm not cheating, I'm just doing stuff. You know, on-demand fuel cells. I don't think I changed anything on that. Oh. All right, so wait a minute. So O scrap, so, okay, weird. So O scrap, uh, I think the only thing, this has changed. Okay, this got this got updated. Stage recovery. Uh, hang on. I know what it is. Can I get? Usually, when you hover your mouse over it, you get some sort of explanation. Usually. <laughs> One would think. All right. So on the O scrap, it looks like. Okay. So recovery is not checked. And I think there was one that I wasn't checking for a failure. I think it was reaction wheels. Because I wanted to have fun. All right. Not implemented. Silent screen messages requires stock repair parts refurbish. No, I don't want to do that. All right. So that's good. Then on scrap yard. Good, good. No. And... That all looks good. Then looks like I'm skipping over. Oh, advanced. Oh, okay. Whatever. All right. So we want to enable the Kerbal experience. Um, limits, limits, and limits. And over here, we want to do that because that's always fun. And we want to put this up more realistic. Um, that looks good. Better load save. Um, so it looks like we have this adjusted to 31. Button manager. <laughs> I don't, that's one of uh, Linux's click through. Good crew R and R. This has got some changes, right? So we don't do that. 28761. Four and ten, nice. Earn your stripes. 
a little bit of role playing mods here. All those are checked. 5, 12, 1, 0, 2. Looks good. Hide empty tech nodes. Always a good mod. Let's make sure nothing's changed. Science relay. Um, on demand fuel cells. It's up here. Um, wow. So. Click through should have been fixed in the base game long ago. I, they still have the same problem. Yeah, it's, what it's talking about, say like you have a dialogue or a screen that when you click on something in that screen, it'll actually click through and you could click something on your craft. So click through blocker prevents that. Yeah. So I don't want to, yeah, it's very, I, I had no idea that's actually what was going on for the longest time. Consume electrical. If set to yes, the fuel cells will consume electric charge to operate. Don't fuel, fuel cells have a... No, I don't want that. Okay. I have it checked over here. Oh, wait, what's the difference between that and that? Okay, that's not what I want. All right, sorry. Uh, next is Science Relay. Science Relay. Looks good. Snacks. Oh. Oh, we got snacks installed? I didn't realize we had snacks installed. Yikes. They don't have snacks over here. Um, I think I was trying to opt out of a life support. I was trying to keep this challenging, but not overly challenging because it gets annoying that I have to send recent. Well, we'll leave them in, whatever. So um, I don't have snacks in the list. So I took it out, I thought. Maybe I just don't know how to read. I don't see it. We'll leave it in. Um, I think herbals can start to death. We're not going to do that. Email background converter results what enable this to know when converters were oh, oh, oh i got you that, not an actual email it's a message got gotcha. you okay um do i have an old list of this i want to see what the old snacks was the whole thing of consuming elect um pc in the background is um, I don't like it. I'll be honest with you, I don't like it. No, sir, I don't like it. I don't, it doesn't look like I have an old version of this. Fine, I'll leave it. Stage recovery. Hang on, I gotta scroll all the way down. Still scrolling. Guess what? Still scrolling. Science relay, stage recovery. All right, so mod enabled, those two unchecked, five. Oh, it doesn't look like a change. Store my reports. Yes, that is such a great Linux mod. Highly recommend it. Toolbar control, I don't think. Yep. All right, so we're good. So we're going to accept. And new, brand new career. <sighs> what? Uh, I don't want to generate brand. Okay, that was weird. I got it. Oh, because we're in science mode, everything's upgraded. I got a little scared for a second. All right. Um, so let's just uh check one more time here. Make sure we don't have any weird issues here. The flight engineer court cor is awake. Well, that's good. I don't want anyone sleeping. Sweet. All right. So, um, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So we still have to spend science to unlock our tech tree. All right. Sweet. Um, wasn't I doing something like we're, we're an agency and we're getting a grant or something like that. I think, I think that's how we we're doing it. So we would do, we're a fledgling so we go into cheats and we go to science and we go one, two, three, four, we do 1500. 
It's our loan. Not that we're going to pay it back. All right. All right, so before we unlock any parts, what do we got? That took a long time. Oop, I want that. I'm going to be a little back and forth on this stuff. There's still a frame buffer. That's what they said there was a problem with. Snacks part added. All right, so that was probably adding a bunch of parts. All right, so what do we got? Um, We have flags, right? Excellent. We do have some science, antennas, batteries. So, all right, we have a little tiny dude. We're going to do a test launch here with a really basic, basic rocket. Have a little fun with it. Um, right. Now, if we want to communicate with it, we need an antenna. Oh, God, I remember how to play the game. I just hit Q because I wanted to let go of something in Factorio. <laughs> All right, so there's our antenna. Um, this has only got 10 electrical charge. I'm not gonna worry about putting a solar panel because I don't think we have, yeah, we only got batteries. So um, let's put four, keep everything nice and balanced. And then we're going to Although that might get in the way of our fins. All right, let's grab aerodynamics. We don't need four of these. Three worked just fine. And then we're going to do... Boink. Dude. Oh, too much. Strange River Dragon, how you doing? Um. Spin to win. That's what I'm doing there. And we let's go ahead and put a little science on there. I don't need three of them. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. It's what, oh, yes, we have a part failure too. So, <laughs> all right, let's see what happens. I'm actually, yeah, kind of returning to Kerbal um, because I had, a bit, my save got corrupted because of uh, Kerbal. <laughs> all right, so we have no SAS module and I forgot to adjust the, uh, here we go. And for some reason, what am I looking for here? All right. Oh, we have collected the data. Where did it store it? <gasps> really? It'll store it in the thing? Oh, no. Oh, okay. There's no way to store it. Weird. Look at us flying. So I'm going to grab this antenna. Maybe there it is. Oh, okay, we had a short circuit on the battery. Um. So we have communication. Why can't... Is there... Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Where's... Oh. Oh, here we go. Sorry. Transmit data. All right. We have successfully transmitted data. Done. We got 
We got us some altitude. That, that's why Kerbalism stores uh, equipment data then well done. Wish Rodella did the same. Kerbalism dips too much into too many mods. I, I, I think I would spend more time trying to figure out what to change to get my style because I used it when it first came out and the only thing I liked to it because I was using, I wasn't using their life support. I was using TAC. Um, the only thing I liked is it had a radiation exposure thing. Oh, okay. See, I, I didn't know you had to go Kerbalism or not for home. All right, so this is gonna crash. We had a battery failure. That's expected. Now, if we actually put a parachute on this and recovered this, we'd get these parts back and we'd save money. Although we're not really spending money. You can change all that though. You can change, I think the last time I looked at the config file for this mod, you can actually assign a percentage or change a percentage or something like that. That was kind of uneventful. Oh well, we got the five science, right? Or eight, something. How much we get? We did not get any science? Uh, that's weird. We didn't get any science. All right, hold the phone. So now if we, we didn't recover any parts, but um, this is a new part, generation two. All right, so the uh, scrap yard, no scrap is working, or I guess actually that'd be a scrap. So let's just put this on the launch pad. I should have gotten some science from wherever I collected. Maybe I didn't actually get any science. Why is that not blinking? View data. All right, so transmit. So we got two science. Yeah? Sure? Can't see how much science I got. Wait, if I do this, whoa. I I don't think that's fine. Um if I go to cheats. I did. Okay, I got science. Nice. Alright, it works. Alright, so we can recover. Um brute. Alright, let's um start to get a little bit more complex here, alright? Shall shall we? That's interesting. I'm not getting the science. Oh. Well, that's interesting. All right, well, let's uh let's see uh see what let's see what we can see. Shall we? Let's unlock some basic stuff here. That that those think Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. I did do a revert instead of just recovered. You're uh, absolutely correct. So let's go make sure I understand how to play the game still. I'm a big idiot. But the other one, I didn't revert. I still didn't get the science. 
Oh well, I'm just nitpicking, I guess. Um. My favorite career was when I was working on a mod. Uh, so the game started with a pedal powered tricycle only. Oh, dude. The most fun I ever had was two. One was my own career when I was playing around with Rover Dude's MKS mod, uh, modular Kerbal system, and actually figured out how to put a self sustaining colony or base on the MUN. That was so much fun. And because of that mod, then I started dipping my toe into do survival games and went down that rabbit hole. Oh, wait, I gotta unlock this. And this gives us that. What do we get here? Nice. All right, so let's just go with that for right now, I think. Let's have some fun. And, um... Let's um put our little tester out there again. So there's no way to store this. So from the launch pad. <clears throat> so I'm there's a something happened. I should have a dialogue. Hide sign style. Oh, I'm hiding it. Okay. Um, okay, let's re enable that. Try that again. So if we say view and then transmit, we're going to get 1.7 science. Let's just check that. Probably accurate. Now let's relaunch this guy. Okay. All right. It worked. 3.9. Although I didn't really check that number change. So, all right. Uh, it didn't take any time for that one to fail. Yeah. So anyways, that was a very fun career. And then the next most fun career, I guess that's good grammar, is when uh, there was a mod, a contract mod for historical missions. And I didn't use any part mods. I just used all the vanilla stuff. Not even restock or anything like that. And I had a lot of fun. It was very challenging for my skill set at the time. And okay, we're done. So, yeah. Those are the two most fun careers I've ever had. Now, from, from what I understand, when I let read the last dev blog for ksp2 i guess their updates are going to slow down quite a bit because i guess they have to work on the game <laughs> versus putting out an update fixing the bugs and moving on to the next i wish they would release their roadmap a little bit better unless i missed it maybe, maybe they did all right so we got the science from this so we can we can speed this up because we've seen this fail already. Oh God. Uh, there's some mods that would be neat if they would do better balance like sounding rockets. Um, yeah, sounding rockets I always did enjoy, but the volumes were way too loud. Um, plume, rocket plume, or maybe it was just called plume. I, I enjoyed that. I've been having a lot of fun with RP-1. Uh, it's been neat going through the early history of rocket engines. I, I've never, I've done RP-0. I don't know what the difference between those are. I tried RSS, RP-0, and there was another mod in FAR. I didn't have any fun. It was too real. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm fine. Blue Dog Part Mods. Oh, yeah. No, I know those guys. What was it? Was it? Okay. Hey, look at that. 
Okay, we have explosions. Sorry. All right, so um, we want to uh, go to the space center. That was fun. Ah. All right. Oh, hey, we got some debris. All right, let's design a rocket that we can actually recover this time. A recoverable satellite. Um, we can do that. This gives us some SAS. Um, actually, we could probably use that. Terrible. Um, this is what, let's go to science. Oh, we got science. So let's grab this again. And I'm going to attach them to this. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's better. Pull this out. Try that again. There we go. And then we have this. Wait a minute. Scratch that idea. I just saw that we have the science junior. I'm going to try to launch a science junior into space. And bring it back. Well, all right. Uh, let's um, figure out where do they put the strutting at? Is that on the part? Uh, is there no? Oh, I don't have. Hang on. I have struts, so I should have auto strutting. There it is. Okay. Figure out where it was. Dude. Um, yeah, that's fine. There we go. All right. So let's put this up here like so. So that makes it kind of aerodynamic. Can't use that. Too small. Let's go back to our science. We're going to put this in the back. It's the heaviest. Actually, if we put two of these on here, we can collect it twice. Then on the back side, I don't think this will make a heap of difference, really. Um, hang on. Oh, there you go. Oh, the antenna's right there. <laughs> Completely forgot what I was doing. So let's see if we have a liquid fuel to do. Oh, wait. Did I unlock any sort of... Uh, oh, I did not unlock any reaction wheels. What is that? Just an RCS port? Uh oh, this is going to be terrible. Well, maybe not. If we add a little fuel tank... Do we have... Um, too small. That's right. Then what do we got for engines? We have got... Spacely. <laughs> that's the one that's got um vectoring it does. Alright. Alright, so if we're in vacuum, that's quite a bit actually. Let's um Alright. Might be able to control it. Brendan, how you doing? Long time no see. Um do we have engine plates yet? Oh we do. So we want to um Auto strut that. And um, we want to change this to have quad. Let's change these guys so they look a little bit nicer. That's better. I have this on the background in my drive, for my drive. You do? Uh, I've recently... Um, I wanted to play this last week. I'm going to go back to Occupy Mars. I think. What am I doing? Okay, that, that, that works. 
All right. So this is going to hopefully give us some control. I, I doubt it. Uh, then all I want to do is an SRB. We'll lift this bad boy off. Let's see if we can do this. All right. Where's the... Oh, it's way down there. Um. Oh, we've got the hammer. I think that's going to be too much. Still. Let's have some fun. Um, way too much. Oh, we're in the atmosphere. There we go. About, about there. Oh, we got good fins. Heavy fins, but good fins. Part. Good. All right. Um. That was weird. All right. Let's uh. Let's give this a try. Gonna probably uh. Probably have to unlock reaction wheels. Ouch. Do 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 do. Um. Okay. So I have three messages. Probably we'll keep all the experiments. Oh, okay. Close the doors. Um, how much total electrical do we have? Oh, I forgot. Okay. We need to uh, revert. Sorry. I forgot to put batteries on this thing. I have 14 science. Oh, because I, I ran the experiments. Duh. All right. Let's try this again. So this is still testing, and it'll probably be testing through the whole stream today, and then maybe even tomorrow too, because um, it did take a couple days of playing before the part collection for O Scrap and Scrapyard uh, to cause any sort of lag. So we don't want to put the batteries here. We want to put them up here. Well, um, we have by chance, okay, I'm just going to get dopey with this. Uh, let's do, Four hundred fifteen electrical. Cool. Hey. I think we'll leave the dialogue open for right now just because I want to know if science is being looked at. Cool. Look at that, we have SAS. Here we go. Nice. <laughs> it uh did not want to go up. <laughs> oh, that was funny. I remember the first time I played a kid, I made a bunch of ballistic science things. Just trying to get all the Kerbal Ground science. Oh, yeah, I was trying to do that with... Um, there's the old science contracts, and they some where you had to get certain speed and certain altitude. I was trying to do those with rockets over and over until I ran out of money, and uh, only to find out I should have used a plane. 
Yeah, you might have a problem. Thing is, I can't recover this until it stops rolling. Yeah. Now, I, I do, I will admit, the restock, retexturing of all this stuff, amazing stuff, amazing talent. All right, if I speed this up, what's going to happen? Is this just going to keep rolling and rolling and rolling and never slow down? Can I switch to something else? No. Oh. And... Um... I don't see it slowing down. I made the best rocket ever. That's yeah, not slowing down. This this is going to be endless. Oh, wait a minute. Was that the lack of perpetual motion? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yay! I did! Ah, uh, but it ran out of juice. <laughs> I'm inventing stuff that's already been invented. Hey, we got some science, though. All right, um, can I just, does this still work? Because I did, I couldn't get this to work last time. I had a mod that interfered for some reason. How you doing, Shaka? All right, let's see if we, um, so now our rechargeable battery is our worst possible part. Hey, look at that. We're up. Close the door. Close it. Don't want any drag. I forgot to add a shoot. Doggone it. All right. So we don't have reaction wheels, but the fins. Yep, those work. Oh. There's a clock that runs on the changes of air pressure and, but they're too expensive for my taste. Really? Hey, good morning, Shaka. Wait, wait, what are you talking about, Electra? I'm confused. There's a clock that runs, oh, oh, oh a real clock. Oh, sorry, I thought you meant a Kerbal. Okay. No, 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 no. Let's ease up on the, ease up on the throttle. There we go. Now, we don't have any reaction wheels. We're just uh, doing stuff. Now, is this, are these generating electrical? It does, it, uh-oh. Great, that, that alternator just failed. That's perfect. <laughs> so let's go to communication and transmit. Transmit all, collect some more. So, okay. Where's the electrical? So we are losing electrical because we were transmitting. Electrical's going up. All right. Oh, we're still transmitting. Are we done? It's done. All right. So we're getting battery because of the one alternator that's working because this one failed. What was our other part failure? Uh, has suffered an ignition. Oh, that was previous. Hmm. All right, right of fuel. Uh oh, I don't know why I put that there. I forgot it. I forgot my, we might as well transmit what we got. Transmit. Uh, no, we'll save that for next time. 
because we don't have the electrical charge to get that stuff. All right, so. We, got, we have control, Captain. Where's the tea? I don't know. I got the Diet Mountain Dooski. All right, I'm excited and nervous. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm supposed to be getting, um, and I know I could have gone to Home Depot and Lowe's, um, but I'm a little bit out of my comfort zone, installing a breaker into a, a panel at a house. I mean, I, I watched two videos a couple months ago. It seemed very straightforward, very easy. I'm gonna watch one specific to my panel, hopefully. And uh, so we do that Thursday. We're gonna install the breaker. We're gonna wire it, of course, with all the power off. And then we're gonna hook up the electrical socket, turn on the breaker, test it, and then call it a night. And then uh, Saturday, I'm gonna rig it all up, put all the staples in and stuff like that. All I have is coffee and I need more. This new hire training is boring. Sorry, Rays. I do. I am sorry about that. What is going on here? Hmm. Uh, I don't have any power, so I can't do that. Actually, I have a little bit of power, but it's no science to transmit, so no thanks. Oh, you can get 3.9, no thanks. Oh, let's turn that off. Splash. Now, for some reason, I'm missing some stuff up here. Go back to the Space Center. Maybe because I haven't unlocked the parts to have it. That's what it is. All right. Uh, we unlocked parachutes for just an atom. Um, reaction wheels. There's our first reaction. Ooh, and a real probe core. Okay, we're going to upgrade a little bit here. Um... I need this for the fairing. It's in here. More parachutes and snacks. Service bay. Oh. Nope. Nope. Oh, wait. To get this. Why do I want that? Oh, it's got the hitchhiker. All right. Nope. All right, what do we got up here? All right, let's just uh, upgrade ours a little bit. So those of you that, why do I have two decouplers here? Oh, that's for the, oh, I forgot to disable that. All right. Um, so we are going to keep, um, how do I do this? All right. We're going to swap. I don't need this. We don't technically need that, but I'm going to keep it because it has the antenna. Um, Oh, we need a shoot. Uh, let's see here. That won't attach the side, so let's use this one. I know it's huge. We can take care of that, I swear. That there for now. Um, we're going to call this. Can I, oh, I'm gonna call it S because it's got a shoot or C because it's got a shoot. 
Landlord, how you doing? Got batteries. You're fine? And my job is done here. Uh, oh, 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 that's right. We we're going to do a, something else. Um, there it is. Now that's going to eat up battery. All right. So if we flip this like that, then we bring it and get it. Uh oh. Get it lined up and put it right about right about there. All right. The first things first is let's set this just in case we run out of control. We want to set this to there and about there. That looks good. It might fail. And then one of these is the engine plate that one. So we want to disable the decoupling. And in fact, I think we turn off the shroud and go back to the engine plate. That works. It's not a very impressive rocket. Um, so we can do this and that. Sure, why not? All right, let's try this one more time. All right. Okay, we're gonna collect it all. We had a busted fin. Oh wait, can we repair this? I don't know what I'm doing here. Where's repair? Beyond repair. That thing is super busted. All right, so we want half throttle-ish there. There we go. Oh, close the door. So while we're generating power, we're gonna go ahead and uh, transmit. I can get to the. Hello, burger. What? We're, we're having burgers tonight. How'd you know? With tomato, avocado, cheese. All right. So let's um, collect, collect. All right. That's 7.6. It just takes a lot of energy to transmit. I think we're gonna pass on that. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, okay. All right, let's, um, almost said trash part. Deploy the chute. Oh, I don't know why we were transmitting it. Ah, oh, dang it. <sighs> That's what happens you don't play a game for, was it February's last time I played? 
for three months you forget how to do things properly that's perfect all right if we turn that off the reason why i can do that is because there's a reaction wheel in the probe core turn that on yeah all right but we want this to sit uh over here just like that We're picking up speed, which is what we don't want. If I do this, and then cool, I guess that worked. I don't know. There we go. We're slowing down. Probably would have slowed down anyways. All right, we're going to keep this. I'm not going to transmit it. We got a parachute. We can recover. So, if this works out. I'll make sure the mod list is available for a CCAN file so you can download it, import it into CCAN. And I think on the mod list, let me check here. Yeah, it's very specific that when you set it up, if you want the mech job, you have to do this and then import it. And then you have to do this also. So there's a couple steps to do. All right, so the parachute, there it goes. Yay. So I'm really hoping by the end of this month, um, the plumbing gets done in the bathroom, the new bathroom. It should be. Yay. And uh, we want to get the, uh, the kitchen sink plumbed. Uh, we want to get the dishwasher to drain differently. We have a, I'm just being overly cautious that since the dishwasher drain I don't know when I don't know when this was installed. So I'm I'm questioning this drainage system. Because where the dishwasher is now was a smaller dishwasher, and before that there was a water heater. Now why heater does a water heater need a drain? It needs um I, I guess it does, but it needs it for like if it overpressurizes or something like that, or springs a leak. Because there is a drain. It goes into the ground and I was told that it goes all the way into the backyard. So if that's true, I don't know how long that dishwasher, I guess that dishwasher has been there for 15 years, maybe 20. Dishwashers usually drain into, yeah, yeah. The, uh, no, I agree with you. Let me see if I can um, illustrate it. It's always hard because you know, it's me. Um, so if I go to the DIY, I should have a picture of the completed kitchen. Yes. All right, here we go. Not completed yet. So, so this is all new cabinetry and before it was basically the same. It was just built on site using real lumber versus, you know, fake plywood. So here is where the water heater used to sit. So there used to be a cold water and a hot water for a water heater. And as Hemer says that water heaters usually have an overflow, which I think maybe is what that drain might've been for. But um, when, the, when the water heater moved out to the garage, then a smaller, like an apartment size dishwasher was put in, it had a cabinet around it. Uh, and then of course this is our replacement. So the only thing that's back there is there's a, an electrical outlet 
um, and um, hot water, which is on PEX, and um, the drain, the pre-existing drain that's a, it's, it's got a uh, 90 degree elbow. That's a pre-existing. And I actually have pictures. Hang on. Let's see if I, I think I put pictures. So you can see where the dishwasher is in relation to the sink. But yes, normally they are, they are engineered like that or they're placed like that. Okay, here we go, I think. Let's see if I have another one. All right, so yeah, Let's see here. Can I get all of these? No, hang on. So, um, right. So this is where the old dishwasher slash old water heater used to sit. This is the drain. It just got a bag over it because we painted. Um, this is the hot water and this is the electrical coming from the, uh, the main panel. And my dilemma was that I wanted to not hot wire the dishwasher. I wanted it to be serviceable. So that was what it is. I cut out a spot, drilled a hole. Actually, I drilled two holes. <laughs> this one went in as an angle and I ended up hitting nails. So I did this one and it worked just fine. As what I did is I fished the existing wire so it would go into the wall. And then that way I could put uh, an outlet here and connect the pre-existing outlet to a uh, new outlet, which you'll see here in a sec, see? So, so we have the pre-existing, the white is the new, the pre-existing plug and that wire is the pre-existing power, the pigtail and a new receptacle, GFCI. I'm not an electrician. I'm not great at sheetrock or anything like that, but it is, and this is gonna have a backsplash over it, so not worried about that. And then I hit my head on the cabinet. Yeah. So, the, the, the fear is that over time, hey, look at that. I will, uh, I will take that and we will recover this craft and we're gonna get some science. Um, the Mythbusters episode on exploding water heaters was great. Really? I actually know a streamer whose water heater, I don't think, she said exploded. You're not supposed to hammer nails with your head. It, uh, no, I hit the cabinet because I was working underneath the new cabinets, which have very sharp edges, by the way. And I, I, I normally there's a counter or there's cabinets there, so I wouldn't have gotten my head near it. So yeah, it, it hurt. I'm fine. Nine science, nice. Uh, mm. Content, uh, continue their uh their hot water their water heater exploded she said so the money they used on that i guess they had to postpone their marriage or their wedding not their marriage um so anyways the i went to the plumbers and i asked them hey you know can you give us an estimate on this and this and um i guess you can't directly go dishwasher into uh the system, you know, the drainage system, it needs a, an air vent. And uh, normally he says they go into, you know, the garbage disposal or, or the, the dish drain. So that would be a long, long piece of plumbing to go from the dishwasher to the drain. So the option is that maybe, and we might just hold off on this for a while, is that cut the pre-existing, not cut the pre-existing drain, but add in the wall, put a vent system, um, and then drain it into the septic. So, but our, my fear is, is that because we don't know how long that's been and where the drain exactly goes, that roots or critters might cause a problem. And then we go to use the dishwasher and it go, tries to drain and we have water, you know, anyway. All right, so cool, we got some science. So let's think about um, upgrading a few more parts. Yes, let's get those. What do we got here? Uh, okay. And we have here, might need that part. That's only one. 
Oh, fuel. Wait, what do I want this for? Oh, for that. Yes. And that. Okay. Uh, it is a long way from, it is, it's a very long way. And there's, there's room in the wall, but they're going to have to move the electrical over. And we'll see what the estimate is. The one thing we do know is that we want them to get the sink correctly plumbed. I could plumb it, but I don't know enough about P traps and vents. It's out of my comfort zone. I don't need that, but that opens up to that. So we want to, ooh, bigger bat, ooh, solar panels. Oh, we already have solar panels. Wait, don't we? <gasps> oh, I thought I had, I'm confused. Oh, there they are. Oh, okay, fine. All right, um, do I really need the big battery? I don't think I need it yet. Um, if we're gonna put a Kerbal up in space, we need, yes, we get that capsule. Don't really need that yet. Don't need landing gear. Being a little low on the funds. I'll need that when we start docking. Don't need that. That would be our habitation module that we put into orbit eventually. All right, let's just go with all this. Let's put a Kerbal up, see what happens. We'll put a scientist up in space. Okay. So, yeah. And when we had all the cabinets um, demoed out of there, there's, a, there's only two plugs in the kitchen around the sink area. They're, or not the sink area, but the countertop area. Uh, one is over by the dishwasher, and the other one's on the far opposite side. They're both GFCI. But what I did is when we had the the cabinet, the old cabinet's gone, and we had to pull some of the sheetrock away because the old vent pipe was no longer being used. I didn't want it in there. So we cut back most of that pipe, which was by, uh, it was a piece of um, cast iron pipe. Uh, we cut that back quite a bit. And while we had that sheetrock off, I said, hey, let me run let me run a, another wire from this plug because according to code, uh, the 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 um, garbage disposal does not have to be on a dedicated circuit. It has to be on a GFCI, so it, it will be. So I just ran in line, I didn't connect it. So if we go for a garbage disposal, we have power and don't have to dig up anything. So yay. All right, so the only way I can get a curb up in space is one of these two things. We're gonna do that one though. It's a brand new part, it could fail though. It's terrible. Uh, we need a shoot, so we're going to go with this. And shoots can fail, so we're going to put a secondary. My kitchen has six outlets, two dedicated circuits plus an oven. Well, there's only two around the countertop, and then there's um, where the refrigerator is. It has a dedicated, and then uh, I'm going to say um, two studs over, there's another dedicated. So we have four. But then in the dining room, we have two, so... Then we have the oven. Wait, your oven has a plug too? All right, do we need a... Let's reduce this to about eh, that. All right, looking like a rocket so far. Let's uh, put someone in here. We're gonna put a scientist and we're gonna add you guys as soon as we're happy with all the testing. We'll put Bob. Oh, a breaker, oh. Yeah, uh, we've got a 30 amp breaker for that. And then all the GFCIs are on 20 amp breakers. Um, that the pointy part has to go up. That is correct, sir. New part. <laughs> Uh, good, good, good. But I was going to that. that. All right. So now let's put a little bit of gas or I'm sure we need a decoupler. 
Whoa. Still too big. I got it. There it is. Oh, already set. Right. Now for fuel tanks. Um, why not? We, we now have a swivel. That's a lot of power for a little tiny rocket. Let's um swap the gas tank, which is probably gonna fail. Yeah, that. Oh, we could actually launch this from a uh, pad. Before we put a, yeah, let's do that. Let's launch this from the pad before we put an SRB underneath it. That makes sense. This has a built-in reaction wheel, doesn't it? Well, that's a lot of stuff. Let's go in here. Somewhere. Huh. No? I thought it did. Oh, it does. It has a reaction wheel. All right, cool. Go away. So we're going to leave that just like that. We're going to reduce this to about there. And then we'll do that. And since we are sending a Kerbal up, I don't want to make sure he does not die. We're going to put a redundant parachute. We're going to put that back here for right now. And since he's go, since a scientist is going up there, the scientist will be able to um, reset experiments. So we're going to load this thing up. We may not get a whole lot, but you know, let's put this here. Put that there in fact can I have that there we go wanted brave but not stupid Kerbal for rise to space apply for it at your yes I, I I support that so that's the science experiment and then um, we're gonna put this also in the back but let's get this uh situated looks good um that's our primary shoot the mod that makes non-brave kerbals abandoned ship so fun <laughs> oh that sounds hilarious oh geez I'll put that right over our flag all right, why why can't I let go of this thing? I got sticky fingers. Really? I will do it the old-fashioned way. How's that? There we go. Up. Oh, where's the F key? I'm good. I'm fine. All right, it's a rocket. Um, I don't want it to tip over on the pad. Um, we're going to go a little bit faster, or just a little bit. <sighs> um, yay. Cool. Electro plays with all the cool mods in all the games. All right, first. Kerbal spacecraft. Saving. If we want to do that. So we do that. Make sure it works and we let go. Go up in space. Save. And we should have a Kerbal in it, right? We do? Oh, wait, where is Snacks? He's got Snacks for 16 days because I believe Pod has got some Snacks. So there we go. There we go.
All right, so we are going to change things here a little bit. We're going to store our science. I didn't touch anything. Everything's good. All right. We're going to store all of our science. We're going to hide the dialogue this time. And, um... Oh, there's stuff. Finally. All right, so SAS... That's it. Pardon me. I got to squeeze a probe core in there. Otherwise, Bob. Oh, and because I recovered it, the scientist won't be around for a week because he's going to be on R&R. &R. <laughs> Bob, you didn't earn any ribbon. Um, we can do this like this. Um, save it. And like I said, if I try to add Bob, he's not available because he's in the astronaut complex having a dooski. Oh, let's, uh, save this. We got to let some time fly. In fact, before we do that, I'm going to go use the facility. So we're going to do a little BRB. Let me get this up and running for y'all. Oops. I clicked on the wrong screen. My bad. Hey, sorry. Do this and do that and do that.
All righty, I'm back. All right. Oh, wait, hang on. Let's see how you guys did. Sorry. Race, nice. Excellent. Top notch. <laughs> All right, let's... um. Thank you. We have to get Bob back, so we need... Oh, just an hour. All right. Cool. We can do an hour. It's easy. And that should be good enough. Ooh, we're going to have a nighttime launch. Evening launch. One not during the daytime. All right, let's put Bob back on. Bob's not here. Really? Is that an hour? I'm confused. Four minutes. Can't. You don't want to clock in early, huh? Bye. Hey, look at that. Pax! Dude! Thank you so much for the 45 months, Tax. Appreciate that very much. So I'm entering the realm of connected devices. I bought these new bulbs you control with an app. I feel so out of place. How do you confront, confound, confounded, configure things to work? Well, the ones I have are Wi-Fi. And the app allows you to turn them off and on, change the colors. Uh, my app has scheduling, but I schedule stuff through, um, oh, confounded things, I gotcha. I actually have Home Assistant where I have um, timers, routines set up. So chances are, if you use the listing device from Amazon or the one from Google, that you can set up routines or skills to turn them on and off based upon time or day. But your app should have an on and off button. There should be Wi-Fi, wi I would assume. All right, let's try this one more time. Excuse me. Yeah. Yep. All right, come on, Bob. Go to work. There's Bob. All right. Yeah, like, um, um, for the, have you seen the flowchart based streaming tool that discount uses where you define triggers and things? Oh, for his home, for a smart home? No, I have not. And mine's kind of a mishmash. I use a little bit of Google. I use a little bit of Amazon and a little bit of home assistant because if you lose your internet, your cloud stuff won't work, but Home Assistant will because it's local. Yeah, Google Home, yeah. The, the, the thing what I've noticed is that if the device directly supports Google or Alexa, sorry Alexa, um, it should show up on either one of those apps. With some of my, with my Wi-Fi light bulbs, I actually have to use something called smart life and then uh i have to put them into activation mode and or discovery mode and do it go through that way all right let's get let's get this kerbal in space it's pretty straightforward uh you got it you, you can figure it out race you're smart all right there we go that's what i was looking for full throttle here we go we're out of here. All right, so that should reset. There we go. Nice. Bob, what's wrong? He looks, he looks very worried. And if I do this, whoa, what is all this? Is this for, oh, for repair, what? Force repair. I have to see if I can turn that off. That's all. I w oh, geez. Uh, keep, keep, keep. I was just looking for that number. I wonder if that's that actual pause. I mean, that is. Uh oh. What happened? Alternator failure. Okay, we can deal with that. No, we can't. 
Where's our 60 electrical coming from? Does this have 50 on board? Oh, it does. All right. All right, cool. Well, we got a little further. All right, so that worked. We'll put an SRB underneath this and try to get up into up into the, um, you know, space. Uh. thinking that's where I get in trouble all these extra things right here I think is from obviously from O scrap and I wonder if I can turn this off looks like D for debug maybe <sighs> all right Bob bring it home That's good. So that one should deploy first. And if it fails or I accidentally cut it, we got that as a backup. Uh, sorry. There we go. There we go. Yay. Safe and sound. What's up, old man? Bookie's here. Woken up from his third nap of the morning. He just looked at me. I did not. Ooh, nice shadows. Boom. All right. That was rude. Okay. Let's go ahead and recover this. Gonna attach an SRB to it. My brother was going to automate blinds so that they would be sun-based. I uh, don't know if he ever got around to it. Um, what is he using? Is he using the ones that so I, the? We're not gonna have blinds. We're gonna have shades. So I have to use the thing that you put at the middle and it draws and it's on track or roller or something like that. Twenty-eight science, cool. All right. Go in here. I watch, um, it's a Phil Hubert. Phil. Guy, the guy, he's in the UK. He's hilarious. He's bald. Um, and I, I watch his stuff. Don't you hate it when you are, when you go to a training class and half of the work is not new info? Oh, yeah. How are you supposed to learn when it's not new or current? All right, we need another decoupler. We're looking for a 12. And then we're going to put the big SRB. And we're going to actually hang on a second. We're going to get, is this a new part? Safety rating four, generation five. So let's do We're gonna get a little nuts here. We can do that. Because I noticed that we do have a lifting engine. My favorite is when companies certification class have a bunch of false information. So when you keep so you have to keep correcting them on the product. You'd think they'd know their own product or the product they're trying to teach you with, you know? Um so I need I don't need a fuel I can have a fuel. Oh, that's right. I was gonna use this, 
which is probably going to fail. So if we do um, this, nope, that one. Come on. Then we can do this. Cool. Then we'll do that. And then so we get around. Let's um strut that. Okay. Then we're we're adding a whole bunch of new parts to cause all signs of all kinds of problems here. Gonna add this right there. This right there. All right. Um, oh, we need some nose cones, I think. Uh, do we have a reaction? We have a reaction wheel up there, but I am going to, we're going to start doing stage recovery after we get him into space or kind of space. Um, what I was going to do was go to structural, grab this thing, only one of them. Then we, I want to add some additional control. So I want to put, ooh, I got a big reaction wheel. Do that one. Dude. You. And then we do F. Oh, that didn't work, did it? Weird. All right, that gives us because this doesn't have any gimbal at all. And then we're going to attach that like that. Uh, SRBs first. Let go. Something like that. I got kicked out of a company training class because I knew more than the trainer. I actually got many ugly looks because when I went to a training class, the the initial, I'm sorry, the, um, how do you say, the, the origin of the product was in Russia. So things were spelled wrong, like system was not S-Y-S-T-E-M, it was S-I-S-T-E-M. So when you're trying to do command lines and stuff like that in your scripts. So, and then uh, I said, well, it's not spelled right. And then later on, halfway through the class, when I kept saying things weren't spelled right, I was I was accused of being very American centric. I went, I'm in San Francisco, that's in the United States. So yes, that was a, a very old class. It was called, um, what was it for? For the Rook Trout IVR system that I was working on. What am I looking for? Aerodynamics. And then we're looking for just a simple cone. Okay, so that adds weight. So the SRBs, it's a little bit too much ump. Bring that down to about there. We're gonna dial this down just a smidge. There we go. All right, so uh, this is gonna be first Kerbal in space. And again, I want to take Bob because I want to collect science. I have to go wait until he's done. It says one hour. All right, we'll just go to the next day. Bob's available. Should not be getting Kerbal music in here. I'm not too worried about it though. All right. All right, there's Bob. Make sure this is set to, that's good. SAS is on. 
Here we go. Three, two, one. Well, that's not going to work. In my case, the class was in the same city as their HQ, so after I corrected them so many times, they called in the head dev CEO, and we just went through everything. It seems it was mostly due to their material and test was just being, oh, I got you. Well, yay for you. Hopefully they thanked you. Look at that. We're still going places. Go, go, go. I know I went to, um, when Avaya was moving over to server-based stuff, I had Intel had brought, uh-oh. Is that just uh, electrical? Okay, we're not using that, so I'm not worried about it. Um, all of the head um, IT people and people related that would do it, did all the PBX work on the Avaya were in, and it was very interesting because they had the CTO in charge and he knew the stuff and it was great because each time there was a now if we do that how are we going to do this and he would ha he would actually have every single answer everyone was very impressed with the, the CTO I could tell he was getting really stressed out because there was like 20 of us this thing has never been used before yeah brand new part All right, getting ready to decouple here. Add some science right there we're collecting. Another brand new engine. Actually get him to orbit? I don't think so. We only have 904 delta V. Uh nope. Hmm. With the SRBs. If they did if that one didn't fail, it's possible we might have been able to. Yay! Look at that. We got science being in space. I'm not gonna let that word get uh, used. All right, I don't, I don't like it, but I understand what you're saying, dumb folk. Especially where I live in, uh, that that word is not very popular. It, you know, the. Um, you would expect that if you're getting a trained, you go to any sort of training class, whether it's on 
how to use Excel, how to use some sort of equipment, you would think you go there and you're going to come out learning versus, you know, them just trying to make a fast buck or something like that. Right, let's go and turn this around. So we got a little bit of fuel left that we'll use to help slow us down as we re-enter. So we're picking up speed right now. Just kind of staying on a retrograde. We are picking up speed. And if um, things seem like they're getting too warm, we can, we can uh, burn some gas here and slow us down. We have good shoots, so uh, nothing, nothing wrong yet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, there you go. All right, I think we're good. So we got to a suborbital, huge milestone. Yes, it was. I was in the uh, grocery store last week and I was somewhat, I, I don't think I was annoyed or miffed or anything because nothing bad happened, but the cashier had an earbud in, their phone was there and they're watching some sort of TV program, episode of something. I'm just going, really? And I didn't notice it until as they were ringing up stuff, she glanced over and I thought, what was she looking at? Something wrong with what, and she, Wanted to see what I guess they were talking about on the show. I went. All right, let's recover this. Let's see how much silence we get. <laughs> it is. It is. Nice. That was very nice. All right, cool. All right, so we are going to wait. We're gonna take Bob up again. Bob needs some time. Um, let's see, what can we unlock? Where's the two-seater, right? Oh, okay, we can unlock that. Uh, this is good for uh, for uh, vacuum. Ooh, skipper. 
All right, let's hang on to, let's not get too spendy yet. Probe core. That's all the Russian pods. Yeah. If anyone is trying, if you're trying to break it by part count lag, you want to just save some crafts. Um, I don't think it's saving some craft is what I need to do is start using um, stage recovery so it collects the parts and hangs onto them in inventory. <clears throat> but I feel also, I go, that's a good test scenario there, but I feel if I take some shortcuts by that versus like normal gameplay or my normal game style that maybe doing something like that, I'll, I'll it could cause adverse effects, you're right, but I'm, yeah, because I see, I, I think the, the, the time, the, where I was getting lag and sorry for starting where I was getting lag was not in the game, not, not at the craft in orbit, not in the, uh, the, not in the tracking station. The only time I had lag was when I was working on a craft in the editor and it wasn't because of how many craft I had stored. It was the scrap yard keeping track of all the parts so is what i gotta do is on this one i need to put some shoots on the srbs i'm just trying to unlock some stuff here so if i unlock that that gives me uh -huh. okay do that oh wait I guess Bob's not available. All right, let's take, um, no, I want to take Bob so we get science. We're gonna hop out. We need the, we need the SRBs not to fail is what we need. Oh, let's see if I can do this. I'll do that. First Kerbal in space, right? I don't want you, I want Bob. Okay, cool. And then we say launch. Right. No, I got to. I did. I need to do a recover. I got it because I need to do. On the the parts that I stage off, I need to put shoots in them for stage recovery. I know, I know. Just got through talking about that. Well, you forgot. Okay. All right. So first things first, let's get rid of this temporarily. Well, um, if I do just one of these, actually, let's do that one later. Um, we're going to jettison that. So I want to do, I want to do stage recovery on this. So, uh, shoot so if i put on two shoots go to stage recovery that gives me 99 percent. so i need to set these to make sure they work and we're just gonna cheat them in a little bit that takes care of that stage when they get bigger and heavier then i have I have to do something a little bit different. Um, and I might as well start that process now. We're going to go into structural. We're going to grab this little tiny beam. I'm going to make just one of them. And if I go and I just do it. Grab this. That right there. Then again, we set this. And then if we do it in duplicate, stage recovery, that's at 93%. And if we copy this and add another one, 100%. All right, then turn that off. Then we do the SRB. 
Again, we do one. Get a little lag here. It didn't get fixed. So that's unfortunate. Yeah, this was what they were complaining about. Ugh. Well. Um... Why is it yellow? It should be green. Weird. Is it because it's an SRB? Oh well, that's weird. I don't know why. All right. Yeah, see that lag I'm getting? I don't know if you guys see it, but that's what my problem was. All right, so um, let's take um, the shoots. All the way up here. Those all the way up there. Those all the way up there. Fine, let's get rid of that. See, and it's only when I'm holding the part, too. See, even lag when I'm trying to do that. That, that's definitely early on in the game too. All right, let's see what happens here. So we're gonna do the SRBs, let go of the ground. Um, oh, that's in the wrong spot. Um, so we can increase this a little bit. We added the chute, so it adds some weight. Launch those, let go of the ground. Oh, and we are, I had that right. All right, then we let those go. Actually, we're going to probably do that at the same time. All right, let's give this um, first Kerbal space for real. Maybe, I don't know. Save, Bob available? Oh, that was slow. No, Bob is not available. Oh, that's cut because we recovered. Oh, all right, that's fine. Um. So we can do it from here, um, for real. I want the pilot, we want Bob. That's the one big problem with mods. You never know how they're made on the back end in terms of breaking other things, efficiency. I'm not really worried about the efficiency unless you're talking about performance efficiency, but yes, when they say they fixed it, obviously they weren't testing it. So um, I might go out to GitHub and say, my previous bug is still there for me. Um, I would love to use the mod because I, I like the part failure. I think it's, well, I don't want to say fun, but you know, it adds a layer of flavor, I guess. <laughs> you know, unless there's a way to flush parts that you probably don't think you're going to use, I don't know if that would be too much work. All right, so here we go. Same problem we had before, which let's see here. This is a seventh generation rocket. So we're gonna actually not launch this. So was it scrap yard? I'm, unfortunately, it's, it's either both. It, I think it's scrap yard because that's the cataloging mod. Oh, scrap is the actual part failure part of it. And it was what was the problem, or yeah, it was. That's what the problem was last time. So we're going to cover. That was a weird noise. 
I remove parts I don't use, but it can be a hassle. Well, when I say parts I don't use is, I might want to use them in the tech from the tech tree, but I want to maybe somehow within scrap yard, if it's hanging on to SRBs I'm never going to use in the inventory, I want to be able to flush the inventory maybe. Try this again. I don't even think that was the right rocket. Hard to tell. There we go. So it saves us a little fuel. Oh, let's see if we recover one of those. So that's what's good about the recovery, well, stage recovery and the, uh, the uh, oh scrap mod that if you recover something, the generation stays the same, but the safety goes up, means you can rely on it. I don't think we got those parts back. Now, if you're doing an actual career career with money, stage recovery and the money you save, oh yeah. A bit of a control issue here. Keep hearing explosions, other oh, stuff still falling. <laughs> All right, collected some science. I guess we're not collecting any of that. I guess it was too low in altitude. All right, getting ready to stage. There we go. Yeah, I'm waiting until they do a... Uh, Instead of a bug fix for KSP2, I want, why isn't the doors closed? Um, I'm gonna wait for the next feature. Yeah. All right, um, so see if we got enough fuel so we have 847 delta v i don't think we're going to have enough again yeah we're going to come up yeah all right let's just go ahead and do a um Descent here. And see all this clutter. I'll have to take a look at the mod. I, I don't think we're going to be using the O scrap and the scrapyard mod. Maybe I'll take a look at, um, hang on. Filters, compatible, dang. 
Dang it, continued. All right. <laughs> I'm on the Kerbal forums. It doesn't like one of the links in there. <laughs> so, dang it. Fix things you need. Spare parts. All right. A random failures mod for KSP install CCAN. CCAN is awesome package for managing KSP. Um, so he hasn't had any activity on this. Looks like it should be okay. I mean, multiplayer KSP too. Oh yeah, far out. Yeah. I believe I just went 70s on you guys, sorry. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get rid of that. We'll try using dang it, all right? We're gonna add that. We're gonna take out the other two and we're gonna add dang it and see how that works. We're, we're not gonna have like, the, the, the really cool thing about O Scrap and Scrapyard is that if you're running a full, is it, I, I haven't used it since, uh, I haven't used it since Linux adopted it. With O Scrap and Scrapyard, if you're in full career and you use a part from the inventory, the price is reduced. So that's why it's really a cool mod. <laughs> there we go. There's a shoot slowing us down a little bit anyways. So we'll do that real quick. We'll, we'll uh, wait till this finish. We'll hop out. We'll take out, um, Oh, scrap. Oh, hang on. There's an update about Forever Skies. Okay. I added a game to my wish list. Wonder if you guys have heard of it. Hang on, let me find it real quick. Um, waiting, scrolling. It is called. I wish when you added something to your wish list, put it down at the bottom so you knew what you added. It's called the Masima Chronicles. Sima. It is, um, the best of my knowledge, kind of like XCOM 2-ish. It's got some strategy elements. So, check it out if you want. All right. Supposed to come out today, did it? Oh, in about an hour. Well, you saw that today, it looks interesting. Phoenix Point, yeah, 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 yeah. Very much like Phoenix Point, which was made by the same, wasn't Phoenix Point created by the people that made the Long War mod for XCOM 2? No, no, they, they did Inviticus or something like that. Yay, splashdown. 
As for cover, Bob. Bob. It's on GOG too. No, Phoenix was. Oh, was it? Okay. My mistake. My bad. Um. One sec, guys. Sorry. Hang on, I'm at a loss here. <laughs> ah. All right, so uh, good recovery. Let's hop out to the main menu. We're gonna take out a couple mods. Add another one. <clears throat> so far, no Kerbals died. All right, so we wanna get uh, Oh, scrap and scrap yard. Delete those. Then we'll go to C can and we're going to add in, dang it, continued. <laughs> oh, excuse me. All right, let's go ahead and um, change this to installed, do a refresh. Um, and let's read up on it just to make sure I understand how to use it. Um, random part failure mod install or manually. There's a source code and Something fails, a thruster has stopped thrusting. Really? All right. Um, what is this? It is a mod that will cause the parts on your ship to have fail randomly. Um, you And you will need to repair them before you can use them again. Be careful. Some failures might be relatively harmless, but others might ruin your day. Why does it say ruin your day? Oh, all 13. Gotcha. Um, the more you use a part, the less reliable it will become. So it's the reverse of, oh, scrap. So don't be too happily, bottle happily with the main sales. All right. This mod requires module manager to function. Also, also as long as some conditions are respected. Uh, okay, whatever. All right. So, um, Okay. It's um I wonder if I can get to the mod list of it and so it's installed, but what I want to do is when I launch Herbal, I want to do a quick new and see what dang it options are and see if I can change it. But sometimes a mod can be configured when you're in game, full configuring. Sometimes some parts of a mod can't be configured unless you do a new game. We're going to really quickly create a new one, take a look at dang it, see what it has, go into mine, and see if uh, all the same options are there. The chances are you can go in the config file and make changes anyways. And I tell you, I've never known Linux not to try to help anyone with one of his mods.
Verbal attachment. Ooh. I think I stopped using Kerbal Attachment when they, um, it was just a lot of mods and I didn't really need Kerbal Attachment. Start a new game. Start a new game. Let's do science again. Science. Dang it. And then I want to go here and there's dang it. So dang it. Whoa, it's got a lot of stuff. So some stuff you can say won't break. Uh, max EVA distance. Ooh, don't know what that's for. Repairs can be okay. So when you're that far from it, okay. Beep on low priorities. Oh, he's got beeps. Oh, he's got sound effects. All right. Um, check in messages. Disable glow on F2. All right. So we got options. Cancel. Cancel. Zoom. Mod testing. Load. Yeah, it was. But. If I'm not mistaken, Kerbal Attachment added attachment points that had hinges or pivots on it. So you could have a trailer of stuff. All right, so now if I do this and then go here, then go here, there's dang it. Hey, look at that. All this stuff is there, nice. So mods enabled, manual failures. I don't wanna do that. Enable the part to glow when it fails. Flashing glow, set the pulsing flash to hide part. Okay, flash interval, that's fine. Check experience toggles if experience is required for repairing certain parts. I like that. I like messages, alarm volume. We're going to reduce that down to just half. Here. Allow failures on. I'm going to uncheck reaction wheels. Additional failures on wheel motors. Yeah, parachutes. Don't want that. Small tanks, solar panels. We do solar panels. All right, so by default, they have SRBs, no failures. JSP, what? Yeah. Um, I had gotten a notice a couple months ago from the mod author or the mod owner of O Scrap or Scrapyard saying that the issue that I had raised was resolved. So I thought I'd try it again. However, it is not resolved. So we're going to try a different part failure mod. Let's see what happens here. All right, can we get, we have bigger SRBs, right? So let's put bigger SRBs on the rocket and see if um, we want that one. There we go. And if I take this, oh, look at that. There's no lag. All right, um, put that there and we do have the thumpers, all right? We're gonna put that there, uh-oh. There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. How you doing, Chris? Um, In fact, hang on, let's do this. So 136 off the launch pad, that's fine. Let go of the ground. Oh, wait, we got a bunch of shoots here. Uh, hang on. That, um, wait, no, put it back. Do that, then that. Drag all those up there. Drag those up there too. All right. That, let go. That is a very low SR uh, thrust to weight ratio. Still, let's, let's try it and have some fun. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I have an idea. I have a really bad idea. So if we do four, I don't want to do them all at the same time, but what if we alternate?
Nah, I don't think we'd get the advantage I'm looking for. I don't think so. All right, let's put those there. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try that again. There we go. All right, so we need to lower this thrust to weight ratio down to like that. This should be fun, <laughs> he says. All right, um, now is there any sort of a dang it interface down here? I don't see it. What about on here? Look at all this stuff is cleared up too. All that debug information is gone. Thank you. All right, let's try it. So we're just going to put a pilot. Hey, Bob's back. Mm. Now let's get Jeb in there. Oh, you know, I forgot to check. Does the command pod have spare parts? It does. There's a few spare parts. Yeah, what do you know? All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. There it goes. Hey, we recovered that stage too. Cool. So stage recovery actually makes no sense now. So that's a mod I can take out. a little little bank here oh no no I don't want to do that hang on no 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 wait what am I doing no there we go uh um right uh okay We um, lost part of our craft. Well, let's just stop going up. Woo. Need to use maybe some, uh, some separatrons and push those out. So stage recovery doesn't make any sense. If we recover the stage, we can't use the part. We don't get any money because we're in science mode. So that's a mod we can pull out. Oh, someone's going to get sick. There we go, finally. It's the swells, really. I like something shooting. Sorry, my bad. That's a long walk.
All right, let's um let's get rid of stage recovery, and we'll reduce that back down to two SRBs. Check it out. Monster, thanks for the 27 months, man. I appreciate that. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Tier two, upgrade. Wow, Monster, really appreciate that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Monster. That's awesome. I forgot what I was doing. Oh, stage recovery. Stage recovery, do that. Do that. We're gonna remove stage recovery. Bye. And then I don't need the folder, so please delete that. Wait, what? No, I don't wanna do that. No, no, no. All right, let's give this another gung-ho try. So I had fun in Occupy Mars. Now, Occupy Mars is still in um, um, early access. Oops. Yeah, still early access. All right. I have a feeling what I want to do is I want to wrap up this, this last Factorio uh, build of mine. I want to get it to where I can launch rockets continuously and not have any major resource issues to the rock gets. And um, the main factory as it's working on science don't have any major resource issues. If I can do that, then I can be satisfied that I was able to launch eight rockets continuously. I know that's not a big deal, but for me it is. Oh, and this time we have biters, you know, also biting at us. All right. Um, zoom, my testing. And then we want to go to the rocket. I'm gonna pull off two SRBs. Or, wait a minute, hang on. Let's try Separatrons. Do we have those? Oh, we do. All right. Okay. Uh, we want to. Uh, that's not doing what I want. Oh, geez. Hang on. Come back. I have that right here. There we go. And then if we do this, then do uh, this. Okay. That gives us there. And let's do the same thing.
All right, and these will go when we get rid of those. So I need to drag those down here. All right, so. Where's my SRBs at? All right, so we do uh, SRBs first. Go to the ground, expend those, then that. All right, cool. All right. Give it a try. So if an SRB fails in flight, you can't get out and fix it. That's not going to be fun at all. Can't shut them off. Oh wait, SRBs aren't going to fail. Forgot that's actually an option. Yeah, SRBs don't fail. Well, that's cool. Uh, I mean, Alex was telling me the other day I should play, oh, I can't remember the, it's a role-playing ish game. Um, Outlast, Planet, Wonder, something. And I was playing it on hard level and my companions kept dying and it was really upsetting me. So, uh, he said, just play it and have fun. I went, all right. Never finished it. I get much control here. Oh. Uh, Jeez Louise. Okay. There we go. Got a little bit of a control issue there. I, we recovered. I quite like the starship though. That thing ruined the launch pad too. Hey, it's Discount dropping in with a raid. Discount, thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. We're just playing around with some mods here. Uh, we're not really going where I wanted to go either. Oh, we're wasting fuel. How you doing, Discount? Guys, there's a link there for Discount Engineer. Give him a follow. Hey, he was doing some stationeering. Yeah, that's not good. Hang on. Ah, uh, oh, this was complete and utter failure. Oh, we're doing good. Thanks, Discount. Guys, you see the link in chat there? Go give Discount a follow right now, would you? He plays all the hard and complicated games and makes them fun. I just play all the hard and complicated games and die. So, big difference there. This year's not good. It's good. 
Did I see him? Did I see something wrong? What's the mod change? Well, hang on. I was hoping to get um, the part failure mod that I was using, O oh, Scrap and Scrapyard, to work because the mod author said that they had done some work on it and fixed it. And uh, I did not see any evidence. I still got lag. So, so we switched over to Dang It. Yeah, that gets us in orbit. Yay. <clears throat> so we took out stage recovery, O scrap, and scrap yard. Dang it is a random part failure mod that you use rocket parts to fix stuff. Or spare parts, excuse me. And um the problem was that Scrapyard, which is a dependency for O Scrap, keeps track of parts, which, which is cool because if you use a part that you recovered, or you know you just took off the part and put it back into you know inventory, you could bring it out again and use it, and it would be an older part with a higher safety rating. And uh, uh oh, what happened? Problems. Why are we not executing? Uh, oh, we forgot to put a pilot. Oh, way to go, Andy. <laughs> we lost communication. Oh, okay. Discount raid. Hey, it's Robbins now. Best darn artist on Twitch. All right. So we forgot to put a pilot on board. My bad. Yeah. Can't I go out here and, uh, oh wait, I can do it. Um, there, no, I can't delete it. Oh, there we go. No, can't do it. What's your take on Kerbalism? <sighs> um, I'm going to go with what Electro said earlier, is that if you install Kerbalism, only go with Kerbalism because it has its hooks into a lot of other mods, which can make it very difficult to uh, figure out what you are trying to do. Or not do. I use Kerbalism when it first came out. I, li I like the radiation, so this is going to die. So let's go back to the space center. Let's put a let's put a uh, let's put someone in it this time. <laughs> Got to put a yeah. All right, one more time. But with feeling, so that's going to end up going in the drink. What? Huh? Oh, right, 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 right. Because I was using uh, smaller rocket parts from another mod. Right, so this one should be okay. We just need someone in it. Like Valentina. Coming with an offering a plate of cookies, chocolate chip brandy. Yay! Because I like chocolate chip cookie. I do. I do. Rob, do you still do uh, art on Twitch? Because, guys, I forgot to mention, uh, there is a link also for Rob is now. So do me a favor, click on it. Give him a follow as well. All right, here we go. We got Valentina. I generally find Kerbalism is mostly stable with most of the mods I use anyways, except for maybe, is that the um, Interstellar? Yeah, I'm not a rocket guy, so a lot of those advanced Interstellar engines, I don't I don't get. Interstellar, oh, extended, gotcha. You've been a little absent, I see. So bring a note next time, mister. Okay, or you're gonna to go to the principal's office. Just that way, actually. Just saying. Yeah, okay, let's get a little turn here. So last time we were going a little bit too fast for our engine, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna coast a little bit here. We're gonna set our throttle higher. 
There we go. Wait a minute, what parts was I using that O oh, scrap and scrap yard? Huh. Because the extra parts that I've been using, the smaller versions of like the um the sprocket or the whatever it's called, those are from actually um uncurbled start. I know what I'm talking about. I do things. So that other rocket is about to burn up in the atmosphere. Yay. No space debris, please. Not a big fan. Many times I have ruined a Kerbal's life by running into a previous rocket's debris. One small step for Kerbal Kind because they have short legs. They got very short legs. One giant leap for me. All right, let's uh, try to flatten this out a little bit. There you go. Yes. So that will burn up in the atmosphere, yay. Oh wait, all right. Let's see if we can get her to orbit. 536 with enough to get back home, nice, okay. There we go. Wait a minute. Hang on. Why didn't she? Oh, never mind. Never mind. That would have worked. I don't know what I was thinking. There we go. Five thirty-six. We got thirteen thirty-five according to that, and according to that. Oh, oh, okay. All right, sweet. So we got to orbit. Nice. All right, let's turn. Um, let's try to land close to KSP. So we'll do an orbit. Uh, yeah, get over here. Oh, we don't have any, um, electrical charge. Okay, it's holding in there. The Kerbals have a nose? No. See, just a blank spot. All right, so we are going to... gonna get right about here I'm gonna put a node we're gonna start sending two hundred sixty two Delta B we can do that Oh, I got parachutes in here for stage recovery. I didn't need those. Close the doors.
bulging eyeball. All right. I don't think we're going to get that close. Let's um fill out of this point this and let's see if we can pull this down. Oh, that's a lot of fuel. Some of them are smart kerbals. <sighs> All right, we got a burn coming up here. Burn up almost all of our fuel. Um, it's, it's mod testing because I was hoping that certain mods that were reported fixed were actually fixed. They weren't actually fixed. So, um, we're trying a different part failure mod. And then if it, if everything seems to work, then yes, we'll start fresh because the, the one bad thing about Kerbal is if you start picking out mods and putting in other mods, it affects the save file. And well, I don't want to run into issues. So we've got 148 Delta V. We're up a little high. Oh, hang on one sec, guys. I'm sorry. All right, sorry about that, guys. I got a call from Alex. I thought it was going to be plumber related. It was not. So there's KSC. Still up too high. Burn what fuel we got. And see if a uh, drag alone will bring us in. Yeah, kind of like that. Well, kind of close.
Why are we all cockeyed? Oh, no, I don't understand. Just, okay. No, no, no. Well, Space Surgeon, uh, their plane was pretty nice. It's a long swim. So, oh scrap. No, actually, the scrapyard still causes lag in the editor. I uh, haven't had a part failure yet, so I don't know how dang it works on the part failure. Um, so I think I'm, I'm happy with this mod set. I mean, there's an interface here. This would show your... Oh, you can disable the uh, the sound. Okay. Permanently disable current highlighted. No, I don't want to do that. So tomorrow we'll start fresh. Brand new career. We'll uh, get all the mods, all the screens updated uh, and whatnot to recover. And uh, we'll start this. We'll start this career up again. Now that we, that why don't I just continue with the with uh with this one? Well, because I had two other mods in. Actually, three other mods, and I pulled them out. So I don't want to. Um, Bigum, 1848, or Bigum, Bigame? game, Bi game. I don't know. I'm an idiot. So we'll we'll start this off again. We'll make sure I update the documentation and uh, start playing some more Kerbals. Let's go and roll some credits. We'll be back tomorrow, bright and early, I think. Oh, yeah, there we go. So, uh, Fight Game, thanks for the follow. Monster and Tack, thank you guys so much for the resub. Rob, we'll see you later for Saturn as well. Discount, thanks for the raid. Appreciate it. Monster, thanks for the upgrade. I appreciate it. All right, guys, I'm out of here.